very excited about the new structure that COM has begun to undertake. Uh, one of the neat things is that we're going to be working in specialty groups, I call them, or task forces, and uh, as opposed to neighborhood groups where we functioned completely kind of as a generalist group, uh, these specific task forces will be able to develop resources and share knowledge and help churches in very specific ways. I'm excited that we have a group that's going to be focusing on our retirees and our members at large and those in validated ministry beyond the church walls. And so it's just going to be a really new way of COM working together. And our goal is to create um, energy and synergy to allow us to help all the churches in Salem Presbytery to fulfill their mission as the Church of Jesus Christ. I'm really excited about the bridge between COM and the parish model as far as allowing churches to get to know each other better and join together in mission and in ministry. I'm excited about um, those, those who have come in in the Presbytery during this time of COVID that we might be able to build these new relationships with folks who are joining us for the first time in Salem Presbytery. Well, what, what excites me is, is all the chances for people to learn from each other. Uh, Presbytery meetings are great, but that's just one of the ways where we can learn from each other. So to have pastors and CREs and other leaders of congregations and people from congregations themselves get to meet others from other local churches near them uh, and in their parish region, uh, for them to get to learn from each other is, is so exciting. I really believe in my heart that we are Salem Presbyterian. And so my hope is that people in every pew will get some experiences of being the Presbytery. Well, what I realized with COVID is um, how isolated people have felt in, in the process of, of trying to stay safe from COVID. We've seen churches and pastors do all sorts of amazing and creative things to deal with these circumstances. If we can take that same approach, that same compassion and creativity, and then ask ourselves, how can we reach more people in our community? What people are we not reaching and why? And what can we change and tweak and adjust so that we are actually reaching some of these people? And I think we'll begin to see people take different things, you know, in the Presbytery. Uh, we'll see that happen in different ways and learn from each other of this congregation did this, this congregation is doing this. That's the exciting part is all this stuff is happening if we can share that with each other. most excited as we approach the fall hunger deadline. Um, by the grant applications I see coming in, um, we see some new applicants that we've never seen before, which is really exciting to know that our reach as a Presbytery is wider in Salem Presbytery than we thought. But also I think one thing that really excites me is uh, to see all, all these different groups that we fund um, working at the intersectionality of poverty. 2020 was a difficult year for the hunger uh, ministry because uh, Pennies for Hunger, which most churches within Salem Presbytery collect the second Sunday of every month, when churches were uh, not meeting in person due to COVID um, and meeting virtually, unfortunately, we just didn't see a lot of those funds coming in. So my hope for 2021 and moving forward is that as congregations begin to uh, meet again in person, that we will start to see those uh, monies that are collected for Pennies for Hunger to come in. Um, I would love to see this ministry grow. In the past, we've been able to collect about uh, $30,000 annually for our domestic grants and divide them out. I would love to see that number grow. I'd love to see us get to 50, 100,000, 150,000. Like think of all the good we could do in our local communities. We can respond to some of these crises um, with the hands and feet of Christ and really impact our communities, not just locally, but also internationally. So I'd love to see that aspect of the ministry grow as well.